Hello once again, Kickstarter Nation. Director, writer, Rob McCallum here with, of course, our star, the main subject of our documentary, The NES Club, Mr. Jay Bartlett. Jay, thanks for taking the time to uh, do this update with me. Hello, my friend. How are you? Doing well, man. It's uh, It's been exciting. What, how, what's your kind of reaction to everything as it's, as it's kind of launched and hit the airways? We've been kind of sitting on this for a few weeks, and now it's finally out there. Um, <laughs> kind of overwhelmed. Uh, my phone exploded. You didn't quite tell me that it was launching yesterday, so I started to get all these bings, text messages, Facebook messages, a lot of uh, friend requests from people I didn't know. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Very overwhelming, but uh, very positive. Yeah, and uh, I've had a lot of people reach out to me. I don't know. A lot of people that I don't know whatsoever have supported the campaign because our friends are sharing the link. So, guys, if you can't contribute, we urge you to spend uh, just a dollar or two to really help us get to our goal. But in lieu of that, please share the link. Get it out there. It's about getting beyond the circle of people we know. So if you've got a friend that I don't know and they see it and they share it to their friends, you know, sure, it's the Kevin Bacon six degrees of separation thing, but you got to get it out there. Jay, with getting the news out there of our campaign, there's been maybe a little bit of confusion in some of the things we want to do. So let's just take a second right now to clarify everything about this. Of course, it's the NES Club, and we're talking about Nintendo history and everything Nintendo and our love for the 8-bit generation. But your part of the dock is kind of like a 30-day mission. So let's clarify the rules uh, as it pertains to what your goal and mission is. Yeah, sure, Rob. Um, So right off the bat, I have... 30 days and that's it Um, I'm funding everything myself and guys I can't stress this enough all the money raised through the Kickstarter campaign is for the production of the film none of that goes to me I am buying all the NES games myself saving up I am by no means rich Uh, moving on I cannot purchase anything online so I can't get the rare ones online through eBay I can however meet people on Kijiji as long as we can go film uh, the exchange in person, I'm allowed to do that. Yeah, so everything has to be done person to person. You can use the phone, you can use newspapers, you can research online and plan your trek through the 30 days once we declare day one to start. Uh, and the other big thing is you're collecting all the retail carts, right? All the NTSC, which is kind of North American released retail carts. Absolutely. All the licensed NES games. So uh, none of the unlicensed ones, just to make it real easy, real clear. Well, the real the real easy thing is to say all the NES games with that gold seal of approval. Absolutely. That would be the way to track it. Yep. Okay. So now you, you just mentioned tracking. Now, one thing people are asking, you know, are you bringing this big kind of encyclopedia of NES games with you? Or what are what's the kind of tool that you, you plan to use or methodology to keep track of all your games and your collection as you go out there? It's an app that I stumbled across um, maybe about two months ago on my iPad. It's actually from a great company called puregaming.org, and their app is called NES Collector. It's an absolutely wonderful app. It, It lists every single NES game, licensed or unlicensed. You can filter it by rarity, um, so everything is rated from 1 to 12, 12 being the rarest, 1 being the most common. Uh, You can cycle through price points, uh, and actually you can check off the games you have, whether they have the original box, whether they have the book, and it gives you kind of an eBay listing, like a price point, so you can kind of keep track of what your collection's worth too. It's great, I got it for NES and, and, and all the other systems as well, it's just fantastic what i love about it is that it kind of really brings us to the to the next level it's uh you know we're doing something old school but we're using kind of new technology to get it these guys at puregaming.org are are huge collector fans they have an app for every system like you said you have some other ones and they've been kind enough to come on kind of like sponsors and help us out uh so as this goes out there and this hits the airwaves i'll be unleashing a perk sometime after for the kickstarter campaign for 10 lucky people who pledge uh uh, basically, the, the first 10 people that pledge after this interview goes live will get an email code to get this app for free, courtesy of our friends at puregaming.org. Uh, guys, it's an amazing app, so you'll, ha- you'll have exactly the same kind of tech that Jay uses. Jay, lastly, I would just want to wrap it up. We've got some questions from Facebook today. We put it out there asking people what their favorite Nintendo game is why, and somebody had messaged me and asked me, you know, what's Jay's favorite Nintendo game? And, and and why? I mean, you're on this big NES quest. Uh, so, you know, what's your favorite game? 
Oh, wow. What a, what a great question. Tough one, too. Um, <laughs> if I could just name off the top of my head real quick, I mean, it's got to be Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, hands Good choice. Down. Huge seller. Um, I'm really fascinated by the box art of that game, the, the, yellow, the yellow color. <clears throat> Always loved it. Just simply Mario sprawled out flying on the front. And the game mechanics, of course, the different suits you can get, uh, uh, the boss battles, the tanks, the airships, uh, fighting Koopa's kids and all that. It's, it's amazing. That's off the top of my head my favorite NES game. All right, Jay. Well, I thank you for taking this time to update our Kickstarter audience and everybody else there via Twitter and Facebook. Uh, this will probably be the first in several interviews that you'll do not only with me, but uh, Sean Evans of Back to the Movies will probably be having us on soon. And there's a lot of publications that I'm just getting notifications. Literally right now, I see it popping up in my window. People want to ask me questions, ask you questions. So uh, look awesome. forward to that. I should also mention, guys, we're reaching out to some other like big fans of ours in the online community, so we hope that we can get them involved. Uh, those are the people that really started this revival I think probably four or five years ago uh, so we'd, we'd be remiss if we didn't try to include them in this because uh, from my point of view as the director those are the kind of experts that lend kind of credence and, and belief in that that knowledge of what we're trying to do the, to help Jay on the quest. Jay what are, do you have any thoughts about people from, from the online retro community at all? Big fans big big fans of all those guys um I'm subscribed to all their YouTube channels. I watch their new episodes weekly. Um, you know, Love Pat, Danny S. Punk, James Rolfe, of course. The Game Chasers are amazing. Yeah, totally. Just, they really have brought back excitement to collecting and, and excitement for these retro games. And I think that's something that's really missing in this, this current generation of gaming. So I just want to say to those guys, thanks. Thanks for the inspiration. All right, and on that uh, high note, we'll say goodbye. Of course, I'm Ron McCallum, uh, writer, director of the film, and Jay Bartlett, our man on a mission. We will check in with you again soon, Kickstarter Nation. And uh, if you're on Facebook and Twitter, please follow us. We'll be trying to throw awesome questions every day. We add new perks to our campaign fairly regularly. Uh, and while Jay's journey begins, once we get fully funded, getting there is half the battle. So we will see you next time.